Let's keep it in the locking so far. What's going on guys, it's Bear, and today we're guys a tutorial, and I don't have any more like kind of schedule to upload, so I'm just going to be uploading them as frequently as I can. I have school and stuff going on, so I'm getting kind of overran with that, and it's only been the first week, but I have homework every day, and uh, algebra and trig, and then I have other shit going on. But uh, I'm going to be trying to post more tutorials for you guys, I'm actually going to stop uploading, I think, those regular stupid basic ones. For you guys, I'm going to start getting into more kind of banner tutorials because that's what gets me gets me the most ratings that's what helps you guys out the most so basically what we're going to be doing today is creating a professional 3d banner slash header and i did a clean slash professional one but uh i think i did clear yeah, clean 3d professional header this is just going to be a professional one and uh it's going to be like 2d and 3d and uh you guys will see when we go on with more so i'm going to be making a header and this will obviously be a template and the cinema 4d so everything will be released to the public at 75 likes on this video and we broke 80 pretty fast in the other one so i don't see a problem with that so what you want to do is just open up cinema 4d and i'm using my own lightroom and you guys can go purchase this on my cell phone for a dollar it's actually my isometric lightroom but i guess you can use anything else but uh you can just plug in your text and you guys can change it to whatever you guys want let's just say i'm gonna put it the template all right so now what you want to go to fonts you're gonna go all the way down to nexa bold and this is actually Right past it. Uh, where is it? There it is. Yep. Now my phone goes off. But um, make sure all the letters are lowercase. I mean, it's kind of stupid to say, but look at that. And then look at this. I mean, eh, I prefer this. So, so what I'm gonna do is just lowercase it or lowercase it. <laughs> do it and then take the scale and lower it and my phone's about to get thrown out the fucking window jesus all right fuck that all right so what i'm gonna do now is just take the depth up to like 120 maybe even more but i'm gonna leave it to 120 and then you guys can go to caps and put a philly cap philly cap i don't know i hit philly but it's philly cap philly cap and put it down to one or one one and then take the steps and just round them off. So you can just bring them up to like a bigger thing. All right. So now what you want to do is go to your object again, and then go to your horizontal spacing and just drag it in closer. Because the closer it is, I mean, it just looks nicer. I'm gonna burp. Oh yeah, my phone keeps going off. All right, I don't gotta burp anymore. But uh, what we're gonna do now is just go to warp and then drag it onto the text and then take the width and bring it out and then take the radius and bring it out and you guys are just going to keep going back and forth with the width and radius like that all right so now we can do is grab your your scale tool and drag it so the text is kind of bent a little bit and then take your actual text and just drag it so it's like this all right, so now that you have that, you guys can just add whatever one you texture that you guys want to add onto it or material, and then you can just render this out, preview it, see how it looks. But I've done this plenty of times. So what we're gonna do now is just render this out, make sure it's uh, alpha channel, and to your desktop. Let's just name it tutorial two. Cause I always name stuff tutorial one. All right, and then just render that out. Wow, this is rendering. Oh, check my phone. Four text messages and a Snapchat. Yeet. All right, so now you got your text, and uh, just pretty much you don't need anything else. I'm just going to minimize it. And then what you guys want to do is go to your file, new, and then I'm making a banner or a header, so I'm going to do 1500 by 500. What you guys can do for other stuff is different sizes, YouTube banners or different templates, etc. So what you want to do is start off with your text. My computer's probably going to be a little slow. I honestly haven't shut my computer off in like a good couple months. I was thinking about that. Oh, fuck. I've been thinking about that today. And uh, my, my computer does not go off at any time. Unless something like goes wrong and you have one of those manual updates. Other than that, my computer's just always on. It's just pushing through. So we're going to just add your text first. And then put it in the middle. Yep. So now what you can do is take this and flip your banner so it's black so you guys can control on the white and then you're going to go to google.com 
and you guys can really add any background you guys want let's just say you want to do a rapper or a musician or you guys want to just do whoever you want let's just say we're going to do Jeezy so what you do is just go here and put your file size to large and then you're going to take pictures like these like pretty much of him doing something like you don't want to take basic pictures like just something of him doing something so obviously we'll use this one so what you want to do is just take it paste it make the size smaller so the height is pretty much the same Actually, I'll put that one there. Um, actually, man, I might not use that one. Let me just add the pictures first. But what you guys can do is pretty much just take pictures and go like this. Just make them the same height. And let's just say you put one there. I just have to blend them together, that's the hard part. And let's just say we get another white, whitish one. And that's half of him. You guys want like a full body picture, like something like this. Like a full body picture. Alright, so you have well, these three pictures. You guys can obviously do more and get more in depth with it, but you guys are getting the basic picture. So... Alright, and then... Alright, so now you have that. So what you guys can do is merge these together. And then you can either do this two ways. You can add your text, and then lower the opacity. So it's like that. And then you guys can flip the background banner. So it's white again, and then you guys can mess with the opacity with this. And then you can either do black and white. I'm going to do mine probably black, because I think black looks more sleek more more of a nice color so you guys are going to do this and pretty much an opacity of 30 let's just say is good so what you want to do now is just add a little enhancement so you can just put a brush on of a size like 400 and put the hardness to zero and just click in opposite corners so so it creates a little white enhancement and then lower the opacity and put it below your text so now you have that and then what you guys can do is go to your text now and then duplicate it and then edit my inner glow style on it. And if you guys don't have the still, it's actually in my uh, 3K pack. My like, 3,000 subscriber. Um, layer style pack. I don't figure that out. So now you have that, you guys can start adding color and stuff. And I'll show you guys. I think I have a example in my port. Right here. So... Oh, I don't know what's going on. There you go. This. So you guys are going to start adding color now. So I'm just going to go, let's just say uh, red. Probably not being blue, but red's good. And then you're going to take it, a pretty much a rectangle, and then just say you make a rectangle here. All right, so now you have that. You guys can either do two of one of two things. You guys can put it on, like, overlay, uh, darken screen, pretty much anything you want. Not darken. Like linear blur or something so you have that so now what you can do now is let's just say you make a new layer and then you create a drag from here into your text so you have this drag and then let's just say you make it your foreground color and then you put it below your text and then put the same linear blur burn on it and then you're gonna take your little eraser and then kind of take out parts <laughs> So this is what you guys can do for creativity. Let's just say you take your brush, put it on a size like 300, put your hardness up, and let's just say you click here in the middle, put that linear linear blur on it again, and then you guys can erase the hard edges so it kind of blurs in. All right, so you guys got that much. So what you guys can do white enhancements now. So you guys can do color enhancements, white enhancements, and switch back and forth. Oh, it's going off again. Jesus. All right, so now what you can do is, let's just say you take a white square. Put it, let's just say right here. What you want to do is go to your fill and lower the fill to about, let's just say, 7. And then you're going to take it and put it somewhere, put it somewhere put it somewhere 
right there. So you guys get the idea. You just put it places. That's all you want to do. So now that you have that, there's other stuff you can do. Let's just say you go to your text, duplicate it, and take the bottom one, and put a stroke on it. So you're going to take the stroke and put it to red, to outside, and then go like that. So what you're going to do to do your mode and put linear blur on again. And you guys can just take the size up and hit OK. And then you guys have to make a new layer and merge the stroke layer and the new, new layer. And then put it back to linear blur. And then you guys can take your eraser and delete all the hard edges. Alright, so now what you can do is open up Wiz's 70k pack. Uh, pretty much this pack is free online. It's on Wiz's channel. I'm, I'm going to say I'm going to leave a link in the description. But let's just say I don't. And you guys can go on this channel and find it. But now you can just go on stripe overlays. And it goes from left to right. So you guys can just take, take one. And just put it, let's just say here, and lower the opacity. And then you guys can go through that. You guys can go through patterns. So let's just say you find, let me hide this folder. You find this one appealing, or this one, probably this one. What you want to do is bring it in, and you can do, like, put it on, oops, screen, overlay, darken looks pretty cool it's like a cartoon effect and then like screen but what you guys can do is hit control i on it and actually change the color of the actual stuff but another cool effect that i've learned is if you go to file adjustments and go to black and white it makes it black and act like actual black and white and then you guys can lower the opacity and it creates little strokes and stuff so that's like a cool little <clears throat> tip so now that you guys have the patterns done you guys can go to like useful image stocks <clears throat> jesus I'm losing my voice here. And then let's just say you take this. And this might be. No, I got it. So you guys can just add that. <clears throat> God. Jeez, one day lacrosse and I'm already losing my voice. Um, And you guys can just take, let's just say, a color. This one's green. And bring it in the bottom. Change the color, hue, and saturation to red. So, you guys can just experiment. But, um, now what you guys can do other stuff, uh, let's just say you're gonna keep a red theme. If you guys know what Predator is, it has the red three opticals. So, you guys can do one here. One here. And one here. And then you guys can just merge these three things. So, you guys can just add that places. Just keep the color scheme going and you guys get the idea. So, just put that there. Now, I mean, you guys can add other stuff. Uh, let's just say you guys have a signature. Or you guys want to add, like, fonts and not fonts, but uh, logos. You guys can just take it and shrink it. Make it white. And then just, like, throw it pretty much anywhere. Like that. But uh, what I do is I add my stuff in the bottom right-hand corner. Uh, just for it looks cleaner. So you have your all your icons and stuff and then your icons right here and then your text And if you guys plan it out right you guys can add more But um, you guys get the idea with this tutorial. I didn't want to go too long with it uh, Obviously, I added other stuff like flowers. So you guys can obviously do more. Let's just say you want to add a flower stock Pretty much you guys can go through Google you guys can find anything you'd like uh, Use this one She's pretty much flower bank bouquet, not banquet. Whenever I say something on Google, it always takes forever to load. Uh, so, well, I, of course, I already have it saved. Mm. All right. Oh. So I'm not going to drag this tutorial out any longer, but you guys get the idea. You guys can just take this and add it here and we'll just make it black and white and uh, just keep doing stuff like that, adding your stocks. But um, 
I'm not using any other packs except for Wiz, so don't get confused. So now that you have that, there's other stuff you can do. Like if you save it as a PNG, uh, you guys can go to your distortion, just yeah, distortion stuff, and make a new layer, filter, distort, displace, and make sure you have displacement maps. If not, there's a tutorial in the description to do this. Uh, You can just apply that. So it just distorts stuff, but I'm not going to do that. And uh, you guys can just do enhancements like blurs, like Gaussian blurs, and erase certain parts. So you guys get the idea on how to do this. Uh, that's pretty much all I'm going to do. You guys can actually make parts black and white and like redo it. But pretty much this is all, all you guys want to do. So I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, let me know. Uh, if you guys want more tutorials, obviously hit that like button and, you know, just keep helping me out. But um, this is just a basic clean tutorial and I'm just going to label it probably like 3D professional tutorial or something like that. I'm not getting too creative with names. So I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and uh, 75 likes and I'll release the PSD and Cinema 4D file for this. So, uh, yeah, also let me know on my Twitter if I get that many likes because I'm in school half the day and the other half the day I'm either with someone or I'm just doing something else. So, yep. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And thank you guys for 3,400 subscribers. It's honestly pretty dope to get that many so far. But, uh, yeah, just like this video. Also, donate to my self I because some people actually did that and it was pretty rad. But, yeah, that's about it. I'm going to make sure to mute my phone the next time I do this. Hope you guys enjoyed the intro. But yeah, uh, 16 minutes worth of a tutorial. Uh, if you guys want more tutorials like this, uh, qu comment your, like, how do I explain this? Comment your suggestions. Like, some people, like, want certain tutorials done and, like, they link me stuff. I like that a lot better than getting told I want a banner tutorial. That's cool. Like, I, I can't do anything with that. But yeah, hope you guys enjoy this. So I'll see you guys in my next video whenever that is. Peace out.